Do you want to master composting for oyster mushroom farming using the simple additives that you can find in your environment like sawdust, wheat bran and cashew carbonates? Then this is the ultimate step-by-step -step guide that I will show you exactly how to prepare the perfect substrate that mushroom loves. Whether you're a beginner or you're scaling up, this is the gold standard method used by commercial growers. Stick around to the end because I will reveal the number one mistake people make that ruins their mushroom yield, starting from the composting. This is your girl, the crown princess of the edible fungi kingdom. Take a seat, grab a pen of paper, and let's zone into serious business. Let's break it down. No guesswork, just play science backed techniques for growing healthy, profitable oyster mushrooms anywhere in the world. First and first, why compost? In mushroom farming, compost isn't about rotten stuffs, it's about creating a nutrient rich, airy, and balanced substrate that mimic nature. Oyster mushrooms love cellulose and lignin and sawdust is rich in both. But to unlock that power, we need to add wheat bran for nitrogen and calcium carbonate, that is lime, to balance the pH. So based on the weight of the sawdust, that is how we are going to be able to calculate for the amount of wheat bran and calcium carbonate we can add to it. So the weight of the sawdust is assumed to be 100% and 30% is water. So when you subtract the 30%, it's left with um, 70%. So your calculation is based on this 70%. So 70 over 100 times the weight of your sawdust will give you in kg the weight of your sawdust. And then we are adding quick brown that is 10%, 10 over 100 times the weight of your sawdust. And then the calcium carbonate, 1%, 1 over 100 times the weight of our sawdust. This will give us the weight of our additives that will be adding and then with the water you have to mix to the extent that when you squeeze a little bit of water should be coming out but it shouldn't be too much water coming out because if the substrate contains too much water there will be contamination so to get your nutrient rich mushroom substrate this is how you're going to prepare it for growing your oyster mushroom first of all you need your sawdust and then you need to know the weight of your sawdust avoid using chemically treated wood you also need your wheat bran and then your calcium carbonate you also need enough water to add into your sawdust when completing your compost so the water supposed to be 30 percent of the substrate now when you have all your measurement done the next thing is composting so we start by spreading the sawdust and then top up by the wheat bran and then we add our calcium carbonate as we go then mix it thoroughly until it's evenly distributed water gradually as you mix and not go at once now here is where many go wrong they skip the composting phase which is critical so you can decide to cover your compost or leave it exposed to the air or the environment but you have to come back and be doing tanning every four to five days so you have to do about four to five tannings before your compost will be ready so after mixing don't just abandon your compost you have to come back every four to five days to do tanning of the compost this method helps to ferment or the fermentation of the substrate so it helps it to soften the sawdust and help beneficial micro break down the fiber of your substrate quick question have you ever tried composting for mushroom before comment yes or not yet 
below let's talk in the comment section because i've seen people growing mushroom on sawdust without composting it at all so have you practiced it before and how was it let's get engage, engaging in the comment section after composting the mixture should have a ph between 6.5 to 7.5 that is where oyster mushroom thrives if it is too acidic add a bit more of the calcium carbonate which is lime and if it is too alkaline don't panic mushrooms are forgiven but balance is best okay now your compost is ready after about four to five turning of the compost for 21 days your compost is finally ready and the next stage is bagging yes so at the bagging stage we have pre-supplementation with rice bran and also calcium carbonate and then we mix water but at this stage the water is not supposed to drip in between your fingers but it should form a bulk shape when released right after bagging the next stage is sterilization and it is done through steam sterilization or you can pasteurize it in a bulk using hot water treatment but with sawdust it's always difficult to get the excess water out so i'll advise you you go by the steam sterilization we will cover those steps in another video so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out you've just learned how to prepare professional grade compost using sodas with brown and lime for maximum oyster mushroom yield if you got value give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow farmers or aspiring mushroom growers and hey tell me in the comment where are you growing your mushroom from i did love to know which country that you're growing your mushroom from and let's communicate let's see how we can help boost our yield together growing and making profit from other countries